Question. How do we know the fraction of tetrahedral holes occupied for any ionic compound? Let's begin with a case problem. In this problem, we're going to have zinc sulfide, magnesium chloride, and zirconium fluoride. These all will have the cubic closest packed structure for the anions, and the cations will be fitted into tetrahedral holes. Some information to know before you begin. The cubic closest pack structure refers to having the face-centered cubic unit cell. In your class, you should have derived that the face-centered cubic unit cell should have approximately four net atoms inside. The face-centered cubic unit cell should also have eight tetrahedral holes and four octahedral holes. But in this case, we're not going to worry about the octahedral holes because they're only going to be fitted into the tetrahedral. So let's begin. We're first given the formula of zinc sulfide. Now, we know that it's going to be an FCC unit cell. So in this case, it's going to have four net atoms. Now, these four net atoms are going to refer to the net anions because they're just so much larger than the cations. So we're going to have four sulfide anions. Now we want to figure out the number of cations available because that's how we're going to figure out the fraction of tetrahedral holes occupied by them. So, because we're given the formula, and because we know the number of sulfide atoms, we can figure out the number of zinc atoms by using the formulaic ratio. We can see that we have one zinc atom for every sulfide atom, so it's going to be a one-to-one -one ratio. So for four sulfide anions, we're going to have four zinc cations. Now, the fraction of tetrahedral holes occupied refers to how many tetrahedral holes are occupied by the cations. So in this case, it's the number of cations over the number of tetrahedral holes available. The number of tetrahedral holes available is 8, as we figure it out here. So in this case, it's 4 cations over 8 tetrahedral holes. This is going to come out to one half or 50% occupied. If we go to magnesium chloride, we're going to do the same process. It's going to have four net anions, so four chloride anions. We want to figure out the number of cations, so we do the formulaic ratio. Now, we have two chloride atoms in this case, and it looks like in the formula it's a one to two ratio. So in this case, if you do a little bit of math, you can figure out that you're going to have two cations with four chloride atoms. So again, we want to put the number of cations over the number of tetrahedral holes available. So it's going to come out to two cations over eight tetrahedral holes. And it's going to come out to one-fourth or 25% occupied. Now, for the last one, it's going to be zirconium fluoride. So again, four net anions, four fluoride. Number of cations, well, we have four fluoride, four fluoride. So it's going to be one zirconium cation. Number of cations over number of holes, one over eight, or 12.5% occupied. Now, let's review. What we want to know is the face-centered cubic unit cell will have eight tetrahedral holes and four octahedral holes. It's going to have four net anions. This is going to lead to us figuring out the number of anions, which will lead to the number of cations with the formulaic ratio, and then the fraction of tetrahedral holes occupied for each case.